in the bustling town of Capernaum, nestled along the shimmering Sea of Galilee, lived a paralyzed man. He had been bedridden for years due to a debilitating illness. His family and friends often gathered around him, offering comfort and prayers, but their hearts were heavy with despair as they watched his condition worsen. One day, the town was abuzz with excitement. Word had spread that Jesus of Nazareth, a healer and teacher renowned for his miraculous deeds, had arrived in Capernaum. The paralyzed man's friends, a group of four devoted men, saw this as their chance. They had heard countless stories of Jesus' miracles, of how he healed the sick and gave sight to the blind. Their hearts brimmed with hope, and they were determined to bring their friend to Jesus, believing that he could be healed. With great effort, they lifted the paralyzed man onto a mat and carried him through the crowded streets. As they approached the house where Jesus was teaching, they were dismayed to see it surrounded by throngs of people. The doorway was blocked, and there was no way through the crowd. But these friends were undeterred. They climbed onto the roof, carrying their friend with them, in, and began to remove the tiles. Carefully, they lowered him on his mat, through the opening, and into the middle of the crowd, right in front of Jesus. The room fell silent, and all eyes turned to Jesus. He looked at the paralyzed man and then up at his friends, who were peering down anxiously from the roof. Jesus saw the faith in their eyes, a faith so strong and unwavering that it moved him deeply. With a compassionate smile, Jesus said to the paralyzed man, Take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. There were scribes among the crowd, and they began to murmur among themselves, thinking, This man is blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? Jesus, knowing their thoughts, turned to them and said, Why do you entertain evil thoughts in your hearts? Which is easier, to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Get up and walk. But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. Then, turning back to the paralyzed man, Jesus commanded, Get up, take your mat, and go home. To the amazement of everyone present, the paralyzed man felt a surge of strength flow through his body. His limbs, once lifeless, were now full of vigor. He stood up, picked up his mat, and walked out of the house, his face radiant with joy and gratitude. The crowd was awestruck and began to praise God, exclaiming, We have never seen anything like this. The story of the paralyzed man's healing is a powerful testament to the transformative power of faith and the boundless compassion of Jesus. It teaches us that faith, even when expressed through the actions of others on our behalf, can lead to miraculous outcomes. The paralyzed man's friends demonstrated an extraordinary faith and determination to see their friend healed, a faith that Jesus honored with both physical healing and spiritual forgiveness. Moreover, this story underscores that true healing goes beyond the physical realm. Jesus' first act was to forgive the paralyzed man's sins, addressing the deeper need for spiritual restoration. In doing so, he highlighted that his mission was not only to heal the body but to offer redemption and reconciliation with God. In our own lives, we may face challenges and obstacles that seem insurmountable. Yet this story encourages us to approach these difficulties with unwavering faith, to support one another with love and determination, and to trust in the compassionate power of Jesus who can bring healing and hope to every aspect of our lives.